What's up, everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video and hitting play. Uh, we're excited to share with you today what we're doing for our summer series. Uh, we've had a good time with the Go There series. We hope you've enjoyed it, uh, seeing the Spirit uh, lead us beyond our borders that we normally like to stay behind. So it's been fun. Uh, but we're excited for the summer. One of the things that uh, we wanted to do in the summer is we had the idea of doing a top 10 series every summer. And the, the meaning behind that is that there would be 10 weeks in, throughout the summer that we would just, they wouldn't necessarily be interconnected because we realized that people are going out of town and they're going to be gone sometimes. So having an interconnected series that leads uh, through the whole summer would be difficult for people because they'd be like, if they miss a week, it would be like they missed a whole section of the passage. So uh, what we decided to do was to do top 10. And this year we're going to do top 10 songs. So JR, explain a little bit about what that means. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to take hit songs from throughout the last 50 years or so, uh, songs that are very popular, probably that nearly everyone has heard, uh, and we're going to have a conversation with the songs. So in, in this series, we're assuming that our culture is talking to us, that our culture is teaching us things specifically through the music that we listen to, and so we want to evaluate those messages. So we'll take popular messages found in popular songs and interact with them from a Christian perspective. So we'll be asking, what is the song saying? Is it a good message? Is it a bad message? Is it something in between? And what does it look like for a Christian to engage this message with love and with grace and with truth? Uh, so we're going to have a lot of fun with it. We found in the summer it's just a good time to, to, to relax and kick back and have fun. And we're going to be doing that at church too. Uh, so we hope that the series is, is entertaining and enjoyable and really, uh, hopefully, fun and engaging and provocative as well. So it'll be a good thing, hopefully not just for you, but it, it'll be something that's fun to invite friends to, uh, people that you've been connecting with who have maybe thought about checking out church but are still a little nervous. This will be an easy series to invite them to come to. Obviously, the Catalyst Band will be performing these songs, and so it'll be a <laughs> lot of fun in that regard, too. Yeah, and uh, one of the things that we talked about even before JR got here was that uh, we wanted to develop a teaching team, and you've already seen some of the some of the um, kind of the reaction to that with with Tommy preaching some and Shelley preached uh, uh, one time and actually going to preach again this Sunday. Um, and so, but we, what we want to do is want to kind of blow the doors off that a little bit, and we've invited some other people to come and be a part of our preaching team, and so. And so we've been working with them, Jared's been working with them, and they've set in on some of our planning sessions and things like that. And so over the course of these, this summer and fall, you're going to see uh, close to four or five new uh, teachers to Catalyst. And we're really excited about this because this gives us a chance to hear from multiple people and hear from different perspectives and um, not just have the same, while JR is great and all, <laughs> we don't just need to hear from one voice. It's good to hear from multiple voices. So, Jared, a little bit, tell a little bit why, why, why the passion about team yeah, teaching. Yeah, well, you know, one of, one of the things that the scriptures teach us is the, the pastor's job is to equip the, the church to do ministry. We believe that everyone in the church, uh, not, not in the church building, but everyone who the Spirit has gathered in to be a part of the church in general, has been given gifts uh, that are for the benefit of the church and of the world. And uh, a couple of those gifts are teaching and preaching. We believe that there are a lot of people at Catalyst who have been gifted to teach and preach, who, who have been called to teach and preach, and it's more than just Sprang and me. And so we want to equip those people. And so we, we have a whole process that we, that we work on when we write sermons together, uh, and, and all of our teachers at Catalyst are going to go through that same process. And the end result of this is going to be something really cool, and again, as Frank said, it's something you've already begun to see. Uh, it'll be that, that everyone who preaches at Catalyst will have a unique voice, a unique perspective. Uh, they'll be sharing what the Spirit has been doing in their life and how the Spirit is moving and calling them to, to proclaim some, some message. But the messages will also all sort of have the same feel and the same rhythm to them because we write them together. And so what that means is that, again, you don't have to wonder when you're inviting some, one of your friends to church whether the message is going to be good that day, uh, depending on who's preaching and all that. You'll know that it will be consistently excellent and helpful and challenging and provocative uh, because it's coming from the teaching team and it's something that Sprang and I are leading uh, and something that uh, that we have been working closely with these people. It's not, uh, you know, when someone else is preaching from the teaching team, it's not like we get the week off. It's actually that we're working with them and coaching them and helping them to develop uh, those spiritual gifts. So something that we're really excited about, we think that it'll really help Catalyst go to the next level because we're, we're helping more and more of our people use the gifts that God has given them and follow the call that God has placed on their lives. And that's good 
good, not just for them, but for the whole church. Yeah, so as you're looking towards the summer, you can be excited about our top 10 series and the fact that you get to hear from a couple more of the Catalyst people in our teaching time. So thanks again for clicking on the video and hope you guys have a great rest of the week. We'll see you Sunday.